Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Adora Ogechuku. So I just came back from the National Youth Convention and it was awesome. And there's this young lady that shared the story that blew my mind and I decided to share with you guys. Okay, so she said she was, you know, this church girl. She, she knew God right from secondary school up to high university level till she got a job in an investment bank. She was still a Christian, like fire for God. She was on fire for God. And she had this boss in the office that was, you know, very nice to her. She said she let her guards down where the guy is. You know, she did, like the guy did everything for her in the office. You know, when she entered into trouble, the guy just helps her out, you know, that kind of thing. And one day, the guy just invited her for a drink. And why? She opted to go. And when she went, it was the guest house, but she didn't still think anything. After all, you know, there are friends in the office, though the man was married. And when she got to the guest house, long story short, the guy raped her. Now, when this guy raped her, she, you know, as a Christian, she felt bad at that moment. You know, she felt bad, so bad, so bad. She had to go to the church, you know, repented of her sin and all. But what happened? She found that she was pregnant. Yes, she found that she was pregnant. And, you know, that one was another problem for her. She had to tell the guy, okay, you know, what am I going to do? The guy said, I'm not going to marry you. I'm married and I don't want to have a second wife and all. She had to ask, agree to the abortion. When she accepted to go to the abortion clinic, when she got there, you know, something told her you will die. Like something whispered into her ear, you will die and all. When the thing whispered, she told her, so, you know, she started justifying the reason why she should go through the abortion. You know, the, the stigma, the everything, like so many things will go wrong. Like she's the first daughter, there were so many things that would just go wrong. So she just had to go ahead with the abortion, the shame and all. Okay, so when she lay down, she said when she lay down on the table, the only thing she could just speak was that she was like, some, something was lying down on the table and one person, like she herself again was on, like standing near her, her, her body, you know. At that moment, she noticed she was dead. Now she said, but something just, like, you know, was still asking her, you dead? And then something just took her up like up into the sky you know her mind told her thank god you're going to heaven but it was not true because she started hearing smells you know the, the, um, this hotness and all she was in hell like she was in hell you know at that moment she told herself like why is she here and something told her you just aborted a baby and you know she started begging for a second chance to come back you know, like a second chance to just come, a minute or a second to just repent and all. She said in hell, people, like your body burns and burns and comes back again. You know, when you burn and burn, it's remaining your bones. Then the whole body will just appear again, you know, and you keep burning. Things like maggots will keep coming out from your nose, from your mouth. She said all these things we see in movies are actually true, you know, about hell. Then different compartments of people who are there and all. She said when she was begging for a second chance, the Lord told her that so many things. The world doesn't hear, like they don't hear anything. You know, people have kept coming, telling people the Lord is coming soon, hell and heaven are real, and they don't want to hear. So what makes you think if you go out there and tell them they will hear and all? But I... I think one scripture was made real to her. The Lord shows mercy on who he wants to show mercy to. She said she saw herself back on earth. And, you know, she was in so much fear for days. You know, as she was sharing that story, like goose bombs just filled my body immediately. He said people on earth don't understand that there is a, a life after death. You know, there is a place called hell and there is a place called heaven. When she came back, you know, she locked herself inside a room and she didn't want to, you know, go out again. You know, that kind of thing. After seeing hell, you will not want to go out again. But the lesson from the story is we should all live ready. You know, just live ready. Um, young girls, because it was a youth convention, yeah. So young girls, young women, just live ready. The Lord can come at any time. Then, you know, if you're... Hmm, 
a very big lesson. Like, don't underrate any guy. Like, you're friends with a guy and he tells you, come here, he's a guest house. You say, ah, nothing will happen. Or, oh, don't worry, I can, I can hold myself if he tries. My dear, your strength and a man's strength is not the same. That's one lesson I picked from the story. And the second thing is Christian sisters. You know, stop taking some things for granted. Just like I said, you say, don't worry, he's my Christian brother. Brother is not in sex, so that's the whole truth. Then the, the second lesson I learned from the story is that we should just live ready. You know, the, the, the reality of hell hits me. You know, I just tried to repent immediately of the things I used to do, you know, that are not pleasing to God and all. Then the third thing I learned from the story was that, um, you know, I should start doing so winning, you know. So many people don't know these things. So many people don't understand. You don't wish hell for your enemy. That's the whole truth. You know, so I learned um, so winning. Like, you know, tell people about Jesus. And oh, I hope you enjoyed the story. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It would encourage me to bring more videos your way. I love you. Bye.